What is up guys, Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe and all of that good stuff. Well the year of the upset continues. George Cambosos Jr. defeats Teofimo Lopez by split decision to become the new unified lightweight champion. WBO, IBF, WBA and WBC franchise champion, George Cambosos Jr. He pulled off the upset. Going into this fight, I gave him no chance whatsoever. I looked at his fights with Lee Selby and Mickey Bay. And yeah, he was a competent fighter, but I didn't really expect him to go to a true world level, fight a big puncher like Teofimo and come through the way he did. But he's a lot better than I gave him credit for. And the man has tremendous heart, tremendous self-belief, tremendous composure, and he boxed a hell of a fight. Congratulations to George Cambosos Jr. from Down Under. Great performance. And by the way, this was a great fight. Um, maybe, maybe a fight of a year contender. I really enjoyed this fight. Two knockdowns, blood, exchanges, tense moments, you know... Two characters in the ring. Great fight, man. Great fight. But, um, yeah, where do I start? I guess I start from round one, right? Round one. <clears throat> Teofimo Lopez comes out, and he's swinging like a madman. He's applying pressure, not behind the jab. He's loading up with his right hand, leading with it, and he's trying to blow Cambosos Jr. out of there. And he is catching Cambosos Jr., but Cambosos was taking the shots well. He wasn't getting rocked, he wasn't getting seriously hurt, and he was maintaining his composure. And what he was doing in round one, he was catching Tio coming in with like a, a check left hook, a short check left hook. Not too much power behind it, but it was scoring. And he was trying to walk Teofima Lopez onto some big shots. He was trying to be the counterpuncher in there. He was holding his ground. He was taking some shots, but he was trying to throw back, and his, comp and his composure in these moments was excellent. And towards the end of the round, Tio, Tio came in, I think he overextended with a right hand or left hook, one of the two. And Cambosos, uh, kind of, while he was in a crouch, came back over the top with an overhand right. Tio Fimo Lopez walked straight onto it, and he got dropped. I don't think he was seriously hurt. But it was certainly a good knockdown scored by George Cambosos Jr. After the first round, Teofimo was still taking a lot of risks. He wasn't jabbing his way in. But in rounds two and three, I felt that maybe he landed for better shots. But, you know, he was still leading with the right hand, not really setting anything up. He was basically just trying to utilize his size and really just go through George Cambosos Jr., um, rounds two and three were close, but I felt maybe Tio landed for better shots. But nevertheless, Cambosos was still looking for the overhand right, which he caught Tio with a couple of times, and he was looking for that check left hook. Rounds two and three were close. I felt rounds four to seven, George Cambosos Jr. He swept these rounds. He introduced his jab to the proceedings, and he was um, keeping distance with Tio. Popping the jab, rocking Teo's head back, and marking up Teo's face. Also, what he was doing, he was implementing his left hook behind his jab. So he would throw a quick jab, left hook combination. He was hooking off a jab, and every time he threw that combination, it was working. George Cambosos was also implementing his straight right hand behind the jab in these rounds. And these rounds, you know, Teo was standing in, in his shoulder roll stance. And yes, Teo. He can throw effective punches out of a shoulder roll stance, but defensively, I don't think Teofimo's uh, shoulder roll is all that great. He's open for the left hook, he can't roll the right hand. Every single time the right hand was coming over Teo's shoulder and he wasn't rolling it effectively, it was still catching him. So for me, rounds 4-7, to seven, Teofimo just got outboxed. Teo again was following Cambosos around the ring, not utilising his jab, and he was looking for single hard power punches. Yes, some got through, but not enough to win these rounds, in my opinion. To uh, Teofimo Lopez's credit, uh, he did start to up the pace in round 8, 9 and 10. Um, at this point in time, 
To my eye, it looked like George Cambosos was gassing. He wasn't throwing quite as many punches, and Tio Fimo tried to take advantage of this. Tio's punch output himself started to increase. He started to find the body more of Cambosos, and I've got no idea why he wasn't doing that earlier. And yeah, Tio started to put his punches together a bit more. He started to utilize the jab a bit more, and he was having a lot more success. I felt he outworked Cambosos in round eight and nine. So I gave Tio those rounds, and round 10 was a huge round for Tio Fima Lopez. And by the way, in the mid-rounds, there was a, a cut opened up on Camboso. It's not a bad cut, but a cut nonetheless. But round 10, huge round for Tio Fima Lopez. Um, he landed a series of right hands which, which hurt Cambosos, and he got dropped with a chopping overhand right from Tio Fima Lopez. George Cambosos beat the count but he was on unsteady legs. Um, Teofima Lopez tried to finish. <clears throat> Cambosos was rocked. Uh, you know, Teo was trying to knock him out, but Cambosos got through the round, and he navigated the danger safely. At this point in time, though, watching the fight, I thought it was a matter of time before George Cambosos got knocked out. However, Cambosos, showing the heart of a lion, balls of steel, great composure... Round 11, he came out, got on his toes, nice bounce on his step, popped for jab, and started to outbox Teofimo Lopez again. He was landing the left hook behind the jab, which was Teo's kryptonite in this fight, when he was in the shoulder roll stance, and he just outboxed Teo in round 11. You know, landed some good right hands as well, towards the end of the round, and by the way, in round 11, a terrible cut opened up on Teofimo Lopez. It was bleeding profusely over his, I think it was his left eye, um, a lot of blood from that cut. I couldn't see whether it was a punch or a head clash, but there was a, there was a lot of blood coming uh, coming from Teofimo in round 11. And yeah, round 11, George Cambosos just soundly outboxed Teofimo Lopez. Um, and round 12, you know, the fight was in the balance, you could say. Um, and, you know, both guys, they came out in round 12 looking to put a stamp on the fight, looking to win the last round. Both guys were exchanging. Um, but for me, in round 12, uh, once again, George Cambosos was in control. When nothing was happening, um, Camboso, Cambosos was outboxing Teofimo Lopez behind the jab. And in the exchanges, I felt in round 12, Cambosos was getting the better of it. Teofimo was landing good shots. Don't get me wrong, some good body shots, a couple of good chopping shots to the head. But Cambosos was outworking. Teofimo in those exchanges, and um, you could tell that the cut, in my opinion at least, was bothering Teofimo in the last couple of rounds. It was bleeding profusely, like I said, and um, round 12 ended, and then we had the nervous wait for the scorecards. I felt Cambosos was going to get robbed. I felt it was a close fight, but a close fight in which there was only one winner, kind of thing, and um, the scorecards were red, it was a split decision. I think it should have been a unanimous, to be honest. But George Cambosos rightfully gets his hand raised. And once again, we get another big upset in the year 2021. And by the way, this was a great fight. Again, two knockdowns, blood, guts, exchanges, you know. Cambosos was having fun in there at times. You know, when he landed his right hand, he was kind of swinging it in the air. He was he was talking to Teofimo, trash-talking. And he backed up everything he said. He backed up everything he said. I have to eat crow on this one. I, I gave George Cambosos little to no chance in this fight. And um, he proved me completely wrong. But ultimately, this is why we watch, we, this is why we watch boxing sorry, for nights like this. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed the fight. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Tremendous action. And we've got a new champion. What a win. What a big win for Australian boxing. Huge. You know, Australia right now, you know, they're in good hands. They've got, obviously, Cambosos Jr., who is on top of the world right now. They have Tim Zhu coming up, who looks very good. They've got the heavyweight prospect, Justice Hooney. Australia right now, you know, they've got a few good fighters coming up. So, yeah, big up to, uh, big up to uh, the Australians down under. Your guy won. Great performance. A fight I thoroughly enjoyed. I want to see Cambosos again. I want to see Cambosos fight Lomachenko. I want to see Cambosos fight Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. 
Tank Davis, all these fights, man. Maybe even a rematch. Who knows? But yeah, Cambosos right now, he, he is on top of a, top of a world. Um, fair play to him, man. Fair play to him. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy, Del Boy. Oh, and by the way, I will, I will try and do a post-fight for um, Stephen Fulton, Brandon Figueroa. But I've not found a copy of that fight yet. So if I can't find it, I won't do it. Because I'm not going to do it in a couple of days' time. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy, Del Boy. Peace.